Yes, if you... If the, just in the past 10 days, 8,762 people of various nationalities crossed into the town of Kenzu in eastern Cameroon, including mostly Central Africans, but also foreign nationals from Chad, Cameroon, Nigeria, and Mali. This brings the number of CAR refugees in Cameroon to more than 20,000 since the fighting started, and I'm not counting the 20,000, the other nationals who are not refugees. Uh, but the the new arrivals told UNHCR staff that they fled because of confrontations be between the former Seleka and anti-Balaka militiamen in the capital, Bangui, and other towns in the northwest of the country, such as Bur, Babua, and Beleko. Some also fled from intense fighting in the areas of Berberati, Karno, Barawa, and Gambala. Others fled because of fear that the anti-Balaka militiamen were advancing towards their areas. I mean, uh, just, um, to get the Central Africans that we have re registered as refugees are mainly women and children, and um, the group includes 43 pregnant women, 50 lactating mothers, and 89 handicapped people in need of special attention. The majority of them are Muslims who say they feared for their safety because of their perceived sympathy for the largely Muslim Seleka group. Living conditions are precarious for the new arrivals who are either hosted by impoverished local families or living in mosques, a stadium, or even on the streets. UNHCR is working on converting a nearby campsite designated by authorities and plans to transfer the refugees there by the end of next week. I, I, I don't quite On Tuesday, we began distributing basic relief supplies to an estimated 10,000 people displaced by the recent conflict in and around Malakal, the capital of South Sudan's Upper Nile State. Now, this is the first aid to reach the displaced people outside of the UN base in Malakal. The city was the scene of some of the fiercest fighting last month. Insecurity as well as widespread looting of humanitarian assets meant that UNHCR and other agencies were unable to deliver aid to those displaced outside of the UN base. Continue, so we can count on a busy week. Uh, we are taking advantage of the relative calm following the signing of the ceasefire hostilities agreement between the warring forces on 23rd January to deliver aid to the most vulnerable. Um, since Tuesday, we have given aid to more than 3,000 displaced and hope to reach the rest of the target group, meaning the 10,000 we're targeting now, um, by the end of next week.